What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so it has been a month, a solid month, since I've been here. And as I promised, I finished Pokemon Black, and now it is finally time to go uh, explore all the Kalos, as you probably already noticed. Things have changed on my channel. The pictures and all that stuff for every single time I go into a new region and all that stuff. And uh, let's see, what am I trying to remember here? Yes, in the last episode, we managed to get the Poke Flute, capture a Snorlax, which I think I still have on my team. I'm not going to keep him for my... Well, I'm not going to keep him on my team very long. As you can see, tank number three right here. Level 15. Big! Big, 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 big. Big and fluffy and all that stuff. But I will not be using him on my team because, yeah, I already got him. So now we're able to actually move forward. But before we do anything, let's see. I think we've already been into the, uh... Yeah, we've already been here. Into the, uh, what was it called? Uh, the daycare. I think, uh, Tierno, Trevor, I don't remember his name yet. One of those two actually taught me a valuable lesson about the, what you call it, the, the daycare just because it is a place to breed Pokemon. Now, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just, I'm just gonna put uh, tank number three back into the PC because I don't necessarily need him on my team right here. In fact, I have my eye on another Pokemon pretty soon here. But let's go right ahead and just continue our adventure right here in Kalos. Now in this area, you can actually find a lot of uh, interesting Pokemon. Smeargle comes to mind, and then I believe Azuril is another Pokemon you can actually find here too. And as you can see, your friends are here just looking at you. And look at that. A heated battle against traveling trainers should provide me with such inspiration I need. Okay, so our first battle back at Pokemon X. Here we have Artist Georgia, like the state. Coming out with her Smeargle. Not Smeargle, Smeargle. And would you look at that. How you doing, Aaliyah? It's been quite some time since I've seen you. Let's go destroy this Smeargle right here. Yeah, look at that. Now, it is a little difficult to actually capture Smeagol in this area because the only move is Trace, which copies the move you used beforehand. If you don't use any kind of move, I don't know, like if you don't do anything except try and capture it, it will then use uh, Struggle, which will have a recoil effect, and yeah, that's all bad news right there. Bad, bad news. Now, let's see. I'm not trying to go into the grass here because, yeah, I don't want to get attacked by Pokemon, but here you have your friends just looking at you, and... Would you look at that? You there! You're the perfect model for our next painting! Show us a magnificent display in battle to get this painting started. Okay, we're ready. Let's do this. So here we go, artist family Mona and Paolo. Watch battle, and they're both coming out with the trademark Pokemon Spear Bolt right here. Both normal top Pokemon. I wonder what kind of moves they used on hand. And look at that, Godzilla number three. Loving them. Loving them now. Oh crap, I was about to just like, I was about to be heavy handed right here. So, you guys already noticed the type of team that I'm going to be coming out with. I actually picked it up, so it's worked for me in the past. I'm going to use it right here in this walkthrough. And look at that, Aaliyah is just kicking ass. Look at that. And Gaia 3 getting another level, and it's learning Lucky Chant, finally. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, this this is actually this boosts up the critical hit, so I'm just gonna take away Growl. Not too big right there. And then bam, lucky chance. And here comes the confusion. So I don't know if it's the same type at some point. Alrighty, so let's go again with the Electro Shock or Electro Ball, and we're gonna go with the Ember Attack right here. And just like that. No more Shmeargle. Alrighty. Hey, yeah, look at that. Leah grows to level 20. Welcome, welcome. And, well, Kakashi Hitake. Level 23, learning round. Do not know what that is. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me take a look. Round. The user attacks a target with a song. Others can join in the round and make the attack greater damage. Okay, so take away pound. Round and pound. Alrighty. Look at that. Kakashi learned round. And look at that. The best word ever. Defeated you. Made you feel very, very bad. Okay, so let's move on right here. Now, once you head into this area right here, you're going to see a big old castle. And 
I believe it's Trevor or Tierno. No, it's Trevor. It's Trevor. He's like, Draven, do you know about this building? It's called the Battle Chateau, and it's a famous for being a place for, where trainers get to improve their skills. If I learn even more about Pokemon, I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the Kalos 8 Gym Leaders. Okay, alrighty. Now, before I do anything like that, I believe there's an item right here that I can actually find. There you are. You'll find yourself an ex-special ex defense. And, well, I didn't want to do this. I really didn't, but, you know, you kind of forced me into it. So, let's go right ahead and take a look at the, the Battle Chateau right here. And, well, they notice us, and, oh, it's Viola, I think. Oh, if it isn't Draven, what is the title uh, in the nobility? What? You don't have a title? That's a surprise. No one can doubt a kid as strong as you should have one. See, your title here in the at the Battle Chateau shows everyone how strong you are. Only a handful of trainers can join the ranks of the nobility and earn these titles. Lady Viola, are you acquainted with the young gentleman? Ah, I see you carry a bug bag, young sir. It appears that Lady Viola has recognized your ability as a trainer, then. It is my pleasure to meet you, my lord. My name is Hennessy. That's right, he's on the Henny. Might I ask your name? Sir Draven. A fine name. I will gladly recommend Draven, so will you grant him the beginning title? He has the makings of a very strong trainer, so I'm sure he'll contribute to the Battle Chateau. Of course, ma'am. If you are willing to speak to him for him, Lady Viola, then uh, that is more than sufficient. And besides, I too sense extraordinary potential emanating from young Sir Draven. Sir Draven, you hear our, are you hereby granted the title Baron? Okay, look at that. I think I like Sir Draven better. But don't you get knighted in England? I'm, I'm kind of wondering. Trainers with noble titles can do or can do battle against other trainers with the titles of nobi the nobility here at the Battle Chateau. The title of Baron or Baroness places you at the lowest rank of nobility. Continue the battle here and your victories will increase your rank and your title. Then it's likely the higher ranking members of the nobility will appear in hope of fighting you, sir. If you ever have any questions, please direct your inquiries to the two clerks at the door. Well then, Sir Draven, Lady Viola, I will take my leave now. Okay, we're ready. So I'm a sir. I'm also a member of the nobility, so let's battle again if we have the chance. Okay, we're ready. So I'm gonna be battling quite a few trainers here. I think that's the deal right there. Get my Pokemon trained up because it's a it's a while away before we hit the next gym. I think that's probably one of the best parts that they added right here. So I'm gonna put Kakashi Hitake first because I've missed that little bastard. And I'm running around. There is nobody here, so let's go through this door right here, and you'll find somebody waiting in this room for you. I have a wonderful feeling about this battle. My heart is fit to burst from my chest. Okay. So let's do this. Here we have Baroness Melis. Melis? Melis? I don't even know how to pronounce that name. I do not care. So here she comes out with a spoink. And here comes Kakashi Hitake. Oh, yes. It's been a while, guys. It really has been, and I did miss playing this game. Um, like I said before, yeah. Came out with the first 10 episodes on my birthday. That was more than a month ago. A month and seven days, I will have to say, because I'm currently recording on August 8th or 18th right here. And I know it took me a while to finally finish Pokemon Black. I got it done, guys. So go ahead and check out that game in its entirety if you guys are into Pokemon Black. And a look at that. There's a pain in my chest. Could that be a feeling of heart being crushed? Yes, it is. Defeated you. Badly. And... Well, she's like, I feel... I feel like my heart is fit to break. This is the first time I ever felt like this. Ah, well. It is what it is. Let's move on. So, let's see. I think we'll, we'll be able to find trainers all around here. And defeating a simple servant should pose you no problem. Or, my, or you might as well go home. I think so. Maybe. Do not know. Alright, Baroness, uh, Baroness Camille coming out with her Bidoof. Look at this. I've seen a YouTube video of uh, Bidoof being like a god or something. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, like I was saying, guys, it took me a while to actually get back to this game just because. Oh, Jesus, like, uh. What was it? Yeah, like, I, I took a three week break. And. 
Yeah, a whole bunch of stuff went down within those three weeks, which required me to take that three weeks. Okay. But now that we are a few walkthroughs down, believe it or not, we've completed more walkthroughs this year than any other year. Hopefully we can get this one done and get to the next uh get to the next wonker right here. Now I did say I was gonna come out with a, a video here. Hold on just a second, let's see. Or vault. <laughs> a first class gentleman has a two half first class Pokemon. And they're all smug and everything. And look at this guy, all smug bearing Arvolt. It's an old man's name right there. Like I was saying, uh, yeah, I was gonna come out with a video on Sunday explaining a little something that went on, or that is currently going on. But I might as well just say it right here, whenever you guys get this video out. Whenever you guys get this video right here. Um, Pokemon Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. It looks like it's going to be a difficult one to record, mainly because the internet settings are not like Pokemon X or Auras. Yeah. Yeah, you guys have to go to like the Pokemon Palace, I believe, in order to log into the uh, to the internet. That's what it was, and unfortunately, I don't know what it is about NTR Viewer or the KitKat Slim, but you have to have you have to have the internet on for both Pokemon games and Zelda games. I do not know why that that, that is, and because of that, going into the Pokemon Palace in Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon, and all that stuff. It poses a threat because you can only log in there. Once you get out of the out of the, the Pokemon Palace, then yeah, it logs you off. So really, you can't record, stream, or anything like that. So it looks like to me that it looks like to me it's going to be a, a little bit difficult to to do any of these walkthroughs for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Even though I am looking forward to doing it, I actually I actually played it all over again, and yeah, it was it was a fun second time around getting to understand everything, finish it completely. But it doesn't look like to me that we're gonna be able to to actually stream it here uh, the way I, I wanted to. Now I do have a few choices. A lot of them are very unpopular. Um, one of them being uh, going back to my old. Uh, capture card, which is all in Japanese, buy the game and, you know, record the game in Japanese without any kind of, like, uh, issues, you know, streaming issues, except for the Japanese part. That's one option. The other option would have to be me doing it like the old ways, in order, record it, externally, you know, all that stuff. And I'm pretty sure many of you guys don't want me to do that, because, I mean, it's 2020, come on, who does that anyway? Uh, I can't go around on I can't go around eBay or Amazon to look for a a capture card. Yeah, like a capture card with a with a cable and everything because those things cost an arm and a leg, and nowadays they're really hard to find. There's just a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that's been going on, and I, I'm kind of like I'm kind of just like you know annoyed by it. Anyway, that's just my rant for today right here. And Marlene, and not holding back, I'm just battling everybody and just ranting about what's been going on, guys. So, I will be posting this up onto my community board just to give you guys a choice of what to do. Uh, another option would have to be skip, uh, skip Alola altogether. That's pretty much what it is. Skip it altogether, come back to it when I find a better way because it doesn't look like I'm going to find a better way right now. Either spend the Spend a buttload of money or record it in two ways that you guys may not want it to be. And look at that. Okay, so that's not cool. Uh, now there is a there is a good side to the whole Japanese portion. Part. Uh, I do have the Pokemon handbook to the game. I do. So it wouldn't be like exploring the exploring the Alola region wouldn't be. It wouldn't be all blind or anything. I wouldn't be going onto my iPad and just like record, like uh, looking up what to find right here. The book is gonna be right there, and it and I won't be completely lost. So uh, that's one good side to you know probably recording it in, in Japanese. But I, I, I have the feeling that many of you guys don't want to see it all in Japanese and all that stuff. So again, I will post it up on my uh, comment section right there, just so you guys can vote. I don't know. 
Maybe you guys want me to play Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield right, right away. I might just get caught up right there and then. And uh, look at that. Defeated Marlene. Feel good about that one, too. So, I think we defeated five people. Probably. I don't even know. Okay, so we defeated... We defeated five people, I believe. And here we have, ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the entrance and welcome the new Baron, Marcial. We hope that you will welcome him into our midst and train in, in our ways. Okay, so now we have to find Marcial because if we leave, we're not going to get in a, a promotion in a, what was it, in rank in, or anything like that. So we got to find this Marcel guy, Marcial. Oh, there he is. Okay, so here he is. Money is no object when it comes to getting it what I desire. I can get any Pokemon I want if I throw enough money around. Really? How about a victory? How about beating me? Look at this guy. Baron Marcia wants the battle and he's coming out with his clone shirt. Look at this Pokemon right here. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, what? What a day, what a day, guys. What a day. To be a PokeTuber right here. Another thing that I have in mind, my goals, yes, and I'm almost getting to 8,000 subscribers now, like, ever since this uh, pandemic started, I've actually gotten about 500 subscribers more, so I'm at 7,400 subscribers right now, and it's, it's going up, guys, so again, a huge thank you to every single one of you guys for helping me achieve that, um, again, the goal is 1,000, or 10, 10,000 subscribers, and that's I never thought I could do that, and now look at that. Oh, Defeated gets your butt kicked. That's right. Alrighty. And look at that, Marcel. Defeated. Okay, so I think if you defeat this guy right here. Yeah, I think that will be it, so let's see. We're gonna be leaving. I already took on this lady right here. None unless if we find something new right here. So, if we're about to leave, let's see if, what this guy says. Oh, this is a new guy right here. Never mind. Okay, so, here we go. Baron Moray. Fancy name and everything. That. Okay, so here we go. Fletchling wants to go. And he's still trying to evolve Gaia 3 right here. Gaia, you have been a huge help in the last few walkthroughs. Freaking awesome. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so here we go. Confusion. And... Wow, I thought I was going to beat him right there. So here we go. Confusion attack. For the win! Suck on those lemons, Fletch. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And... Godzilla grows to level 24. And... I think I defeated everybody. I'm not sure. How fortunate you are. This arena is only for the Chosen, and you seem to be one of us. If uh, if you raise your rank, you will be able to battle more stronger trainers. Don't you feel honored? Probably. I probably would. So before you leave, the lady right here is like, Baron Draven, farewell, good my good sir. Before you leave, I have pleasing news to share. Due to your recent excellence in battle, you have been granted the title of Viscount. My heartiest, or my heartiest congratulations, sir. I hope that you will accept my most humble com compliment on this wonderful day, I look forward to having the opportunity to see you battle again here at the Battle Chateau. Okay, so that's it. We're Viscount. Feeling like pimps. Keeping our pimp hands strong, like always in the Kalos region. That's right, guys. The Unova Champ is here. I can finally say I'm the Unova Champion. Okay, so we got two battles waiting for us. And this guy here is like a blank canvas, a canvas before me and yet no inspiration from the witch uh, to paint. Okay. Bring it. So here we go. Artist Pierre wants the battle and he's coming with his miracle right here. Again. And we're going to go with Gaia 3. Let's get it. Gaia 3, we're going to get you to evolve. Let's see. Again, we're going to be spamming the whole confusion and everything. And that is not a move that he normally knows. But here we go. Confusion attack nearly takes him out. So let's go right ahead. And, well, let's see. We're going to go with Kakashi right here. Don't want Gaia 3 to faint just yet. Eventually, he'll faint somewhere. And here's Kakashi. Here comes a Rosa. Not so effective right there. Let's 
play fire with fire. Let's go. Waters or water bowls. And look at that Spearville. Fifty dude. Suck on those weapons. Look at that. And Pierre has been defeated, which I'm very happy about too. And well, let's see. I'm gonna be switching on my Pokemon right here because I see somebody who wants to battle me. He looks lovely today. It's time to say hi to the girlfriend again. What up, sweetie? Oh, and the gang's here. Never mind. If you, if you all don't mind, I'd like to have a Pokemon battle with everyone. Now, how should we pair up? Hmm. Let's go Tierno and Trevor against Sensei and me. Sure, let's do this. Okay, Sensei. Since we're neighbors, we might as well battle together, right? Sure. Okay. So here we go. First double battle, and it's against our buddies Tierno and Trevor. And right, look at that, they're coming out with both of Pikachu and Corphish. Let's go. That's right, look at that. Two of the opposite Pokemon right there. And we both have weaknesses. So let's finish off this Pikachu right here. So quick attack onto the Corphish. Here's the Water Pulse against this Pikachu right here. And say goodbye. Okay. <laughs> So I already took care of that situation right there. Look at that. Kakashi grows to level 24. And Gaia 3, level 19. And here comes that sword stance. Oh, jeez. And, oh, Flamebe is coming out right here. Okay, I can do this. Now I'm going to take care of poor fish. Well, Fletchling is more than likely going to take on that Flamebe, right? Yeah. Okay. Pokemon nearly takes out poor fish and just like that crap have right thing for I don't even know. Wow, good combination right there. So let's go again with the round, finish off this poor fish. Hey, that was my kill right there. Obviously, she's not like Barry, so I will not get mad at her. And Aaliyah grows to level 21, wants to learn double team, so let's go right ahead and not teach it double team because whatever. Let's see, here we go with the round attack. And Flabebe nearly goes. Yeah, Flabebe's not too strong right now, but eventually, yeah, he'll get somewhere strong. And look at that, Flabebe defeated. Alrighty, look at that. And we defeated our buddies. Whoa, now that was a nice move. So you can't learn everything just by the Pokedex, I see. See that? Get yourself a girl like Serena. Or whatever her name is. <laughs> I have so many girlfriends, guys. I don't remember all their names. It sure, uh, it sure is interesting how, the different e or how different each trainer style is. Well, I guess we should head off to Ambrett Town then. And that is pretty much the next town right there. So, before we leave, guys, uh, there is a something right here that we need to get. A few things that we need to get right here. Um, for instance, I think we need to... S yeah, we need to cut. Okay. So I'm gonna go all the way back to the, uh, what was it called, uh, to the daycare just to grab a Pokemon that knows how to cut, then, then I'm gonna actually cut the team and then, and, you know, move on with our adventure right here, I guess, I don't know, I really don't know, so let's go ahead and get into this PC, let's see what we can find, catch this PC, and who has cut? Who can use cut? Let's see. Well, we could always use Mr. Teeny right here. So he's been good with that. And, well. Uh, oh, the new one. Oh, yeah, I did evolve him. Huh. Totally forgot about that. Alright, Mr. Teeny, you're in. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and uh, teach Mr. Teeny cut because that's the only move that's good, ever, ever gonna learn. And let's see, no, that's the wrong one, right here, all the way down, and gotta have the HM Slave, and there you go, Mr. Tootney has learned its cut technique, which is good, okay, so let's, let's move on ahead right here, look at that, roller skates, feeling good, feeling great, awesome guys, and it's good to be back to the Kalos region right here, one of my favorite regions by the way. I kind of wish they would have made a third version of this. So, well, let's go ahead and cut this. See what's behind the tree. And, well, let's see. There we go. 
Okay, so here we go. We found ourselves an item which I'm trying to get here. Damn it. There we go. Silver powder, which you can actually use for a bug type Pokemon right there. And, well, let's continue on right here. There are two entrances to this place right here, but I'm not going to go in there just yet. And, well, hopefully we don't get attacked by a Pokemon. And speak of the devil, we got attacked by the Pokemon right there. And... Oh, look at that, a Krogon, a very good Pokemon. I'm just surprised at how many Pokemon you can actually find in this area right here. So, let's go right ahead and grab this, and look at that, we found our split down. So they have to be in front of the barrier, which is stupid. Okay, so come on, come on. Okay, you know what, get off of that. And here we have our person berry. Very good berry. And here we have a tiny mushroom. Which is always good too. I think you can sell those for high, for good money. Pretty, uh, pretty sure of that. Now, okay, so there are no Pokemon here that I want to capture, guys. Trust me, off screen, I capture as many Pokemon as possible and level up my Pokemon. It is very, very easy to actually train your Pokemon in this game, so it's no biggie. And I'm trying to get out. Yes, okay, so. We're going to stop it right here, guys. In the next episode, we have a little surprise for you. Quite possibly a new team member. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for hearing my rant. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.